Well, good morning to you both. You know, Chicago rapper Juice World flew into Midway early Sunday morning and he flew into this private hangar right behind me. Now we know moments after he flew in, he suffered some sort of medical episode and ended up dying a short time later. Now we know that two men, a part of his entourage, are now facing gun charges. I'm the better one, I won't let you forget me. So that's Juice World's most recent hit, Lucid Dreams, which peaked at number two on the Billboard charts. It also has nearly 400 million hits on YouTube. The 21-year-old from Homewood has a swift rise to success, recently signing with Interscope Records for a reported $3 million. The rapper landed at a private hangar here at Midway Sunday morning just before 2. His jet was coming in from L.A. where Juice World has a home and friends tell me he was returning to Chicago to celebrate his birthday, which was last Sunday. There was a party in his honor slated for last night. Entertainment site TMZ reporting sometime after his arrival here in Chicago, born Jared Anthony Higgins suffered a seizure. The fire department saying he went into cardiac arrest and later died at Advocate Christ Medical Center in Oak Lawn. Fans and celebrities like Chance the Rapper, Fat Joe, and Little Nas X all stunned by this news. Man, he was just a cool dude being himself, man. First thing sure. for anything. And he's from East, well, it's dangerous. That he sure. never game banged, period. So WGN has also learned that two men, a part of the rapper's entourage, who were on that plane acting as bodyguards, were charged for having guns on airport property. A 27-year-old man facing two carry concealed firearm at airport charges, plus another for having a high-capacity magazine and metal piercing bullets. The second, the second man, who's 36, is charged with unlawful use of a weapon. Police tell us the men had all required licensing for those firearms and these charges are considered misdemeanors. So later this morning, actually in just a few moments, we expect that autopsy to be started on Rapper Juice World, and that's when we hope to learn more about his sudden death. Reporting live from Midway, Courtney Hoosman, WGN News.